this question comes up frequently, particularly from parents. And I think, you know, as a parent myself of two young children, I, I totally understand uh, any sport, particularly a combat sport, has risks. And I'm not going to lie and say that there isn't a chance that a child would be injured through training. Although I would find that in nine out of 10 cases, that would be due to negligence of the teacher um, or, you know, of, of the class environment in general. Uh, so we train here without ego. And what I say by that is that we're not here to compete, to beat each other up, um, to engage in violent practices. There, of course, is a self-defense aspect to martial arts. And, and of course, that self-defense aspect is important because uh, we're trying to teach children how to protect themselves from potential danger, from threats, not only of their own peer group, but from, from potential adult threats as well. Um, and yes, there are risks Yes, there is a chance of injury, uh, but we're here, we're very careful here in, in the way we approach our classes. We always have uh, instructors and seniors in every lesson to, to watch and to, to help guide students, particularly of the younger level. We don't teach techniques that would be considered too dangerous for that age group. And that's why we also separate our classes into different age demographics. There's a certain level of maturity and understanding required to, to learn some of the more dangerous applications of techniques. And we don't believe in teaching the youngest of children uh, some of these, these movements because uh, one wrong move and someone can be badly injured.